Alrighty, boys and girls, and everyone else, here it is. We're closing the year out with a bang. Your first legit look at the upcoming iPhone 16. This information comes from some super sneaky sources, obviously not named, but is your most cohesive look yet at iPhone 16. All of these represent units that are actually used in Apple's internal testing right now. Alright, so here's what's going on, right? We have three configurations, three different designs for iPhone 16. All of these three designs are final designs, but only one of these would be considered like most accurate. Even though there are three differing designs, Apple will only move forward with one of those designs. So currently there are three in testing. We're going to show you all three, but one of those is more likely. Okay? Okay. These are all coming from Marco over at Mac Rumors, who in the past, at least the past year or so, has been very accurate. He's the same person that showed us this legit picture of USB-C on iPhone 15, like way, 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 way before it was official. So if you're wondering about credibility here, uh, it's not from me. <laughs> This information didn't come from me, and that is all the information that you need to know. So yeah, this is probably it. First up is this yellow honeybee right here. This yellow iPhone 16 has what seems to be the earliest known button and camera module configuration from Apple's testing. And listen, I'm just gonna say right now, I like it a lot. This is my, don't care what I show you from here on out. This is my favorite. We have a unified volume button, an action button, that's right, because the action button is coming down to the base models next year, and the biggest shocker, an iPhone 10 styled camera module. <laughs> the unified volume buttons from this model are a holdover from the sadly canceled Project Bongo that we talked about earlier this year, maybe last year, I don't know, time isn't real, who cares? Project Bongo was apparently some secret project behind the scenes where Apple was going to change the physical iPhone volume buttons into capacitive fake buttons, not real. I'm sure those fake, capacitive, not real buttons will make their way to our hands and in our pockets eventually, but next year seems to be not that eventually. At least for those base model iPhone 16s, we still got real buttons. Something to note about all of these test designs, and this lines up with what we've been telling you for the last couple months, iPhone 16 will be moving back to a vertical camera module to give maximum compatibility for spatial video when it comes to Vision Pro, when that actually happens. Those stacked lenses will allow the video recorded from them to give the illusion of depth, at least in the headset. Uh, and hopefully it won't suck. If you can't tell from every time I talk about Vision Pro, I am real worried that it's gonna suck. So please don't suck. Amen. Okay, uh, what? Back on topic. Okay, the second model we're gonna look at is this pink iPhone 16. It's a bit of an oddball. It has the usual separated volume buttons, an action button, and the same camera module as iPhone 15, but with the lenses stacked vertically instead of diagonal. Now listen, all right, if I'm being honest, this one right here is the safest bet, okay? So out of all the ones we're talking about today, this one is the safest one to think, okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna see that one next year. All Apple would really need to do is configure the camera module from iPhone 15 and bam, you got a new 16 looking device. However, there's one key piece of new tech missing from this here pink iPhone 16 test unit that we all expect to make an appearance on the final product. And I'll tell you all about that after a word from today's sponsor. Please don't leave, I love you. Hey, I don't know if you've noticed, but it is cold as balls. That's why today's episode is sponsored by our friends at Govi. Govi Life makes some of my all time favorite tech products. I seriously have them all around my house. And now they make space heaters. Smart ones! Space heaters are always a little suspicious and usually not extremely safe. So, Govi Life did something about it. They made a safe one! Govi Life smart heaters have 99.9% .9 thermal energy conversion efficiency and can heat up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit in just about two seconds, warming up a 200 square foot room in no time. They're designed to reduce the possibility of an accidental tip over, have overcurrent protection, 24 hour automatic shutoff, overheat protection, and feature a flame retardant housing. 
Oh, it gets even smarter than that. These heaters can be controlled right from your phone and connect to your favorite voice assistants too. This is the best smart heater with the most comprehensive smart features that you can find at this price range. So make sure to head to the link in the description to get one for yourself before you freeze your balls off. And of course, a huge thanks to Govi Life for keeping me warm and sponsoring today's episode. Okay, <clears throat> welcome back. Where were we? Oh, uh, yeah. That key piece of tech missing from this pink 16 iPhone, pink iPhone 16 test unit is <laughs> the capture button. Yes. Okay, but for real though, this third test unit, the black one, is the unit we're expecting to actually get. This one is the most accurate and most up to date with all of the info that we think we know about iPhone 16. Okay, all right, here we go. So let's break down what we have. Normal separated volume buttons, check. An action button, check, but bigger this time. How exciting. It has the camera module from the iPhone 15, but this time it's kind of different. And on the other side, opposite the weird antenna cutout thing is in fact the new fancy dancy capture button. Yep, there it is. That's the model we are expecting to get when it comes to the base model iPhone 16. And don't just take my word for that. Mac Rumor says that as well. So if it's wrong, don't yell at me, yell at Marco, yell at Mac Rumor. Don't yell at me, yell at them. Understood? Okay. You know, I gotta say, regardless of this capture button's function and all that, I, Jern, absolutely guarantee that this will be the most accidentally pressed button in the history of iPhone. You are holding it wrong, always. I'm gonna completely smash that thing if it makes it to shipping, I can already tell. But uh, talking about the capture button, wouldn't it be nice to have more information on that, right? To like to learn the function, how it's gonna work. It would be real cool, exciting to have more information about. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, we do. We do have that. And it comes from an evil little man. Mark Gurman is the evil little man that we speak of. Sorry, allegedly evil. My lawyer told me to say allegedly, so that. For real though, thanks to one of Gurmi's recent Power On newsletter, we've learned that that mysterious function of the mysterious capture button is to... Oh, are you kidding me? Capture video! Wow! Who could have seen that coming? Whoa! Exclusive information! Pff, mic drop! It's gonna capture things! The capture button? Yup! Gonna capture video! Why do you watch this show? Everything else that we know about the capture button is that it's going to be capacitive. So it can sense the changes in pressure, I guess. Maybe that will play into exactly how it will behave. Maybe if you press harder, it will capture video harder. <laughs> Almost passed out there. Whew. Woo! Breathe oxygen! Breathe oxygen, me! Breathe it! Woo! We can't go out! We can't go out like this! If we die, Mark Gurman wins! <laughs> okay, okay, now that you made it to the end of the show, if I had to guess, because that's all I can do, uh, I've speculated this a little bit on my podcast, Genius Bar, so I'll say it here. This capture button hardware-wise, is going to be there on every model. The base model iPhone 16 as well as the Pro models. And my, my theory behind this is that button is actually going to be there specifically for spatial video. Could be wrong. I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm... Look at me. I don't know. I just make noises on the internet. Anyway, I think it could be there to facilitate use of spatial video just to get average regular iPhone customers to use spatial video. If you bury it somewhere in settings, they're going to be... They're not going to know it's there. They don't care. They don't know about... They're not going to pay $3,500 for Vision Pro and record and then notice record spatial... That's They're not going to do that. So put a physical button on the phone to make it feel more important. Whoa, new button on my phone. Why, I wonder why it's there. And every time they see it, they'll be reminded that spatial video exists, prompting them to record spatial video so that in the future, future-proofing some videos, they can get Vision Pro and watch them back. And maybe further than that, when a, well, I don't know, Vision Bro <laughs> comes out, a cheaper Vision Pro-like device comes out that is not $3,500 or $4,000 if you wear lenses and need to see stuff because you wear glasses in real life. Anyway, 
when that comes out, then they'll already have a bunch of spatial video used because capture button was there and that's my best guess. I don't know. Okay, going back to the hole that I came from. Uh, back to real life. See ya.